Right now, new tonight at 530, for just over six years now, Safe Haven Baby Boxes have provided a resource for mothers in crisis. They allow a mom to make the brave and gut-wrenching choice to surrender their child anonymously. More than 100 babies have been saved by the Safe Haven Baby Program, but there are some questions they spark among communities. Haley Minogue from Good Morning Kentuckiana has the story. With over 100 locations across the country. We don't know what some of these women would have done had there not, not been a box there. Safe Haven baby boxes have become a fixture in several communities. It's reality. You know, it's not ideal, but it's reality. Whenever there's news of a surrender, founder Monica Kelsey travels to the location. Most recently, she sat down with WHS 11 to talk about some of the questions we hear about the services her organization provides. Nobody's crisis is the same. You know, your younger kids are scared to go home and tell their parents, but an older person, their crisis is completely different. Out of 166 total infants saved, 33 were placed in boxes and 133 were surrendered through a handoff coordinated via hotline. When a baby surrendered anonymously in the box, it's truly anonymous. They are very intelligent. They, they research everything and they're doing it on their own. And this is, a, this is an option that they're choosing and we should respect that. Some state laws prevent women from giving their children up for adoption, giving them no option but to surrender. In the state of Indiana, if you are married, whether you're separated, whether you haven't been with this person for 20 years, but you are married, if you place a child for adoption, whether it is that father's baby or not, you know, it, whether it's that husband's baby or not, mm -hmm. the adoption record has to have dad's name on it. And the dad is classified as the husband. We've had a parent in that situation before. Biological parents have 30 days to change their mind and reclaim their baby. But after that 30 okay. days, the adoption Kentucky process can right begin the and the parents face no legal recourse. It's not a matter of loving these kids at all. It's just they're in a crisis that you and I will never understand. And, and we should honor when they make a good, loving, legal and safe choice like this. Haley Minogue, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, to find a baby box success story in your local community, head to this story on our website, whas11.com.